Hello and welcome to the Greenbar Valley Church of the Nazarene Daily Devotion for Friday, <clears throat> excuse me, January the 8th. Today we're going to continue our look at the Gospel of Mark chapter 1 and we will finish up the chapter reading verses 35 through 45. And here is the word of the Lord. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him. And when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was clean. Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning. See that you don't tell this to anyone, but go. Show yourself to the priests and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet, the people still came to him from everywhere article written by Rachel Kuhn, our author for this week's study, Not So, Wonder Woman. They came in droves. The rumors had spread and everybody knew about this man Jesus who was making the lame walk, the deaf hear, the blind see, and dead live again. They came and, as Jesus always does, he met them right where they were. The kingdom of God had come to earth. What was broken was being mended. Jesus served. He poured himself out and the world was never the same. My six-year-old daughter recently informed me that she had changed her name from Hattie Jo Marie Kuhn to Wonder Woman. We often think that we are to be superheroes endlessly fixing all that is broken. We pride ourselves in juggling full plates without help. The problem is that this is not Christ-like. Jesus is God and even in the miraculous, Jesus needed to spend time with the Father. It refueled his soul and was much needed because in the next verse we see that he was right back at it. Remember today that in all you do, your strength does not come from you alone, but from the Father who created you. Take time today and be still with him. Him is Pass Me Not by Fanny J. Crosby. Let me at the throne of mercy find a sweet relief. And from the book of Psalm, chapter 20, verse 2, we read, Lord, my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. That is your daily devotion for Friday, January the 8th. Have a blessed day.